In this video, we're gonna be replacing the driver's side parking brake cable, which is this shorter one that goes from that bracket all the way back to the wheel. To disconnect this rear driver's side parking brake cable and replace it, I'm going to first disconnect it from the front. I'm gonna pull down on this. That'll get some cable out and I'm gonna put some locking pliers nice and tight on here to prevent it from going back in. There we go, that creates some slack in the cable. Now pull this cable down and push it back just like this and then try to slide, try to slide this one out through the slot. There we go. Now this cable's free, take off your locking pliers. Now you can grab a set of regular pliers squeeze in on these two locking tabs here and you can pull the cable through take it out of this bracket right here where it goes through this retainer uh, next to the wheel you have two more of these locking clips that you have to squeeze in you can break them off if you have to or just squeeze on them whatever works best a lot of times this fitting will be stuck in here so i'm going to try and spin it around first there we go. Break it free a little bit. Try to drive this through. All right, so now it's completely free. I might have to just continue breaking this until it's completely out of here. There we go. All right, take this out. And now you can just spin the cable, unhook it from the parking brake lever. Now take your new cable and I put a little bit of grease on there to hopefully help prevent any potential noise squeaking. And with it hooked on over there, make sure that the spring goes in here, slide the cable through and press in the outer sleeve. I put a little bit of grease on there as well. Press this in all the way. There we go, just like that. Now take the cable and slide it through this bracket over here and clip it into place. Just press it till it snaps in. There we go. Just like that, give it a tug to ensure that it's actually locked into place. Let's get it connected over here. Now because I have a bare cable here, it doesn't have any sort of plastic sheathing on it like the old one did. I'm able to put some locking pliers on the end of the cable here. Lock them on, pull out on this, and then I'm gonna lock some needle on those pliers right onto here, which will hopefully hold this cable out like that. Perfect. Now I'm gonna grab this end, pull it towards the back of the truck, this will give me slack on that side. Now just slide this cable through the hole, pull it back, and there we go. It's attached, I remove these pliers. Perfect. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.